Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. Ray here. Today we are talking about Sony and PlayStation. There is a lot to talk about, like the whole Last of Us Part 1 remake, the idea that uh, Sony is really not supporting smaller games any longer, but wants to focus just on big ticket blockbuster AAA games, yada yada yada. There is a lot of that to talk about, and that kind of folds into what we're talking about today. See, there is some dissatisfaction going on with the guys over at Sony. Not because Sony has announced anything that people are finding objectionable, but a lot of other people are announcing or leaking, which is all speculative anyway, that stuff that people are not finding attractive. Now, a big reason for why so much of this seems objectionable is because as a counterpoint to Sony and PlayStation, we have Xbox, who are really good at public relations, who are really good at keeping their Twitter feed up to date, who are really good at just consumer outreach. Now, in a very short period of time, where we're still technically in lockdown, where everybody is still afraid of leaving their homes and getting the pandemic peronic, Peroni pandemic. Uh, everyone is still just has their faces glued to their devices, glued to their computer screens, saying what's next in the gaming sphere. And Xbox has done a really good job of filling up that space where PlayStation has been keeping their cards close to their vest. Now, can PlayStation do better? I do believe so. But some of this stuff, I think, is just kind of over the top. You've got this one guy, for example, who has started this big campaign, big, uh, you know, uh, petition event, which those never work, so why bother, to get Jim Ryan, the CEO of PlayStation, you know, canned, fired, sacked, liquidated, and the creator of God of War, the creator of Twisted Metal, who is no longer with PlayStation, David Jaffe, uh, has said, hey, you know what, this may all be kind of premature. I still have contacts at PlayStation, and you know what? Something really big that PlayStation is focusing on right now is a counterpunch, a, you know, something to actually get back at Xbox Games Pass. Xbox Games Pass, I think we can all agree, is the best value in gaming right now. I personally do not have it because there's just nothing on there yet that's like, oh, I've got to have that and I can't get it anywhere else. Currently, they don't have that for me, but I can see that it is just a really good value. Now, what is PlayStation's response to Games Pass at this moment? At this moment, the only thing that they really have that can be considered a legitimate response to Games Pass would be PlayStation Now, which same price as Games Pass really, what, 10 bucks a month? And that's not bad. They've got some good titles on there, stuff from all generations of PlayStation, but it's just not getting the promotion and it's not getting the support it needs to be something that can actually dominate or compete on par with Games Pass. But David Jaffe says, no, game PlayStation is working on something that will actually be a legitimate counter to Games Pass. That I'm looking forward to, that I hope to see more of, and that we can just get some more information from Sony because while they have not announced anything that is immediately disagreeable other than the whole shutting down the Vita, PS3, and PSP stores, which I really don't understand, uh, I think a lot of people are just being very overreactionary to some of the stuff going on at PlayStation that because we just don't know what's going on at PlayStation. Now, in addition, something that's got really just blowing a lot of minds is that there is being a PlayStation 5 remake of The Last of Us in production being made in, at Naughty Dog, and to which my response is, why? Now, you, if you're a longtime viewer, you know my opinions of The Last of Us Part Two. You know I did not greatly enjoy it. I actually had a very bad experience with it the first time through, but ended up liking it more uh, once I reevaluated it and I gave it a fair to middling score. But that none of my opinions concerning The Last of Us Part Two have anything to do with my opinions of 
The Last of Us. The Last of Us is an amazing game. It is a really good game. It is a fantastic game that still holds up. I mean, I do think at this point the gameplay is not the best because it just obviously looks very formulaic. It looks like you're playing a video game. You can walk into a room and it's like, okay, those crates there are not in a natural formation. Those are obviously crates that have been placed in such a way to provide cover. Uh, that is something that a lot of game developers are working on nowadays to make things look more natural. And yeah, sure, the crafting system, etc., etc. A lot of things in the original Last of Us are not the best ever now, but they are still really good. The cutscenes, the voicing, the character models in the remaster all look really good. And so why does this need a remake now the game is not at the point yet where it needs a remake this would be an example i think of sony trying to cash in on a high value ip the problem is it's i just don't think even last of us lovers really want this at this point because it, 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 naughty dog despite my opinions of the Last of Us Part 2, Naughty Dog, is a very good game developer, and I would rather see them focused on something else, either a new Uncharted game or a completely new IP, than just constantly trying to recycle a beloved IP that for, you know, just immediate money making. And this isn't even a Final Fantasy type situation where you have a sequel that's unconnected to the previous games, but just remaking the same game literally over and over again that seems just kind of unnecessary and unwanted so if this is a playstation top of the uh pile decision then i really don't understand it if it's a naughty dog decision i still really don't understand it so yeah rumor and speculation nobody has confirmed this from playstation but as many people are talking about this, I think it's pretty much uh, guaranteed at this point, and I just don't understand it. So, overall, my assessment of PlayStation at this time and place is they are not at the most horrible place they've ever been. Jim Ryan does not deserve to be fired yet, but they do need to do better. They do need to work on consumer outreach. They do need to actually fill this void in the... Uh, internet sphere that is just empty right now because there's so many people just glued to their screens while the pandemic is still on and <sighs> that em that emptiness that void just sounds so much louder uh, when everybody's paying attention at the exact same time so let me know what you think like comment subscribe please give me an opinion down in the comments below that i can either agree with disagree with or just ignore outright. So I'll catch you next time on Rated RPG. Later. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications so you can get all the latest updates from Rated RPG.